Well, it's time now uh, to introduce our next guest, of course. Yeah, tonight's second guest is both a hypnotherapist and founder of the Free Mind Project. It's a project aimed at, of course, at freeing the mind, quite literally. That's right. For over 15 years, Tom Fortesmere has been dedicated to helping people enjoy their lives more, whether that be through improvements to their confidence, happiness or their self-esteem. More, more recently, however, though, Tom has been organising an event called We Are One. And from what we understand, the event is anything, uh, unlike anything, of course, that we've seen before. It examines fun uh, and brings people together in a social gathering, minus the alcohol and drugs, which is quite a rarity here in Europe. Tom and your lovely daughter Portia, welcome to Living the Life. We're thrilled to have you with us. Thank you. We're, we're thrilled to be oh, here. Hello, Portia. Hello. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, very. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? Well, we're going to chat with you in a moment. First, we're going to have a few questions for your dad. Okay. So, Tom, thank you very much. As a welcome, um, free your mind project all sounds very, very left of centre. Sounds very hippified. But really, it's about it's about helping people to what to, to learn to let go, to enjoy themselves. Basically, all of the troubles in our own personal world and our international world are driven by fear. And so the project is about helping people look at their relationship to, to fear and give them opportunities to experience themselves without judgment, without fear, right. and to get them to contrast the difference. Yeah. And we say, you know, come and experience what it would be like and we create an environment where people get to interact with themselves and others without fear and give them a chance to see which they prefer. Fantastic. It's almost science. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny you say it because, of course, I'm going to be honest with you. There are going to be people who simply won't get this concept just yet, and we will sure. explore it in the conversation. But the reality is, you know, day to day, you are, of course, uh, working at Harley Street. You're very respected in what you do. Where has that gone now from, from being a, a very much a private affair as a consultant almost to now hitting the mainstream media? Because obviously, your work has, has been hitting front of the evening standard more recently. Yeah. Tell us about your journey with well, this new you know, project. You know, yes, as a, as a kind of serious clinical hypnotherapist and then running things called hypnosis raves it does sound different for me it's just a different medium by which to get people excited about the power of the mind and the power of focus and I'm not about kind of wishy-washy psychobabble or positivity it's literally about looking at what what is your relationship to yourself and how are you behaving most people aren't actually aware of the degree to which they're held back by judgments and mm. fear and politeness and and uh, which on what a surface is a very decent way of being but it often masks a lot of un, uh, discomfort and for a lot of people, they go out socially, certainly in Europe, as you were saying, and the first thing they do to relax is, is go to the bar, you know, have yeah, a few well, drinks. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a disinhibitor, isn't it? It yeah, takes it away takes that sense away of that inhibition. Fear. Yeah. Whereas using psychology, you're able to create environments where people are put at ease more rapidly. And the more people come, the more they trust what we're doing. When some people first come, they're, you know, they're a little bit like, well, you're going to be using group hypnosis <laughs> to get us being more loving of ourselves and others, right? That's, yeah. that's quite threatening for some people. Well, well you mentioned it there. I mean, w most of us are familiar with the concept of hypnotherapy, so sitting one-to-one yeah. -one with, a, with a therapist who will get you into a state of rest or a state of, I suppose, where, you're not, where your guard is dropped to some degree and you can be yourself a bit more. But on this, on a larger scale, in, in what we can almost call a party environment, how does that work in, in practice? It's totally a party environment. Yeah. It's totally. I mean, to look at it, it would look like a nightclub, right? right. Um, actually, with more energy. And at the end, I mean, the, the kind of ebullient joy that's happening is, is extraordinary. And so, I mean, some people don't take it this far, but the encouragement is free downloads. So there's a hypnosis recording you listen to before you even get there. Right. And that gets you to set the, set the intention of being more loving of yourself and others, okay. to be free of judgment, and to be yourself, to truly be yourself, to experiment with that. And there's a tone in that, which kind of is the conclusion of that recording, a very powerful kind of bassy tone. And at the start of the parties, we get everybody there, we do some things to get them relaxed, Brilliant. and then we do a group hypnosis. It's about a 10 minute process to get them to reinvigorate that intention. Their eyes are closed, we get them visualizing leaving, having had an amazing night, and then we play that tone. And then we go into 90 minutes. It's like a bit of NLP in there as well. Well, like, what NLP is an, is an offshoot of hypnosis. Right, yeah. okay. There'll be some people, no doubt, who will be watching this and thinking they're mentioning nightclubs. What is all on earth is going on living the life? But let us bring some reality and some, some uh, you know, uh, realism to this. We're not talking about adults going together trying to socialize to date one another. We're talking no. about our courtship. We're talking, you know, your own daughter you're taking to these events because it's Absolutely. all positive and appropriate for, for all people of all ages, right? Well, it's not only appropriate for people of all ages. In a lot of indigenous cultures, they celebrate life together. Mm. It's important for adults to party with children. Yeah, not to drop them off at a kid's party, to party, to celebrate life with them. It's important for kids to dance with adults and for adults to dance with kids. 
You know, actually, life is so short that actually we die at 90 or 120, and we're still very young at heart. And actually, life is that short that we're all very young on the inside, and it's good to remember that. Life can get too serious otherwise. It can. So, Portia, what do you think of these events that your daddy's been organising? Um, I think um, they're quite nice, actually. Do you? I think, I think, I think I'd be really happy if I went to one and I saw little kiddies like you and I could bring my little girls along too. Yeah, that'd be really interesting. And what was your favourite part of these events? Do you remember anything that you really enjoyed? Yeah, when we like had like um, this like um, like um, when people like came over to our house and we sort of had, like had a cuddle session. Oh, <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah, at the end of <laughs> at the end of our events, what happens is we encourage people to relate unconditionally and to go around the room giving people cuddles, and not because of who you are. Unconditional love is not loving you because of who you are. Yeah. It's loving you because of who I am. Yeah. And bringing love to situations. So we train people how to, and this is completely non-sexual, obviously, yeah, yeah. and it's just about human connection beyond judgment. And um, it's really powerful, really powerful for kids to and learn. It's, it's, you're saying children, it's the innocence, isn't it, for children? Because we forget so much. Children are becoming so, there's so much, in the, in the modern society we're in now, it's constantly about education, 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 and aspiration, which is great. But I think it's often very uh, easy for ch children, or certainly young people as they enter their teens especially, to lose their innocence. So it's great to hear you're doing something positive for children. We're going to definitely have to talk.